Hi, my name is Angela and I love gardening. Hey guys, so wish me luck, wish us luck. This is the very first tutorial I'm recording directly in English. And if I succeed if it, and if it goes well, it will be much easier for me to uh, prepare much, many more tutorials uh, faster. So we will all be very happy. So uh, I want to show you what we have on our table. These are the tools and materials, the basic tools and materials that I use for most of my uh, cardboard projects. And I'll tell you what is it that you have to have and what is it that you don't have to have. Actually, you don't have to have anything. Like, you can replace everything that I'm using. I'm using um, a cutter, a good cutter, to, uh, uh, for, for the cutting of the cardboard, obviously. I do recommend to have a good quality cutter because it, the, the cardboard has uh, uh, a resistance. So if it's not a good quality cutter, they will fall apart quite easily. But you can use any cutter that you have. And replacement blades. Okay, because I do recommend to replace them uh, often. Like if you see my cutter, it has uh, some rust on it. It's, it is quite humid here. So if you leave it outside and, and you don't use it, it, it gets rust. I do not recommend to use the cutter with the, with the rust. I will use this, time, this one this time. It's not that bad, but then I will throw it away. And also, uh, in order to keep my, my uh, project, you know, my cuttings uh, neat, I, uh, I cut off every time I cut off the, you know, the edge so it's new and, uh, and I I'm using the plier for it. This is why the plier is here and I'm removing it because this is all I need it for. So we have the cutter, the plier. Now if you don't have a cutter, you can do it with a, sim with a simple kitchen knife. The simplest you have, the ones that have small teeth that are like a saw and, and I'll show you that it will cut quite easily through the cardboard. Now for simple projects you can use uh, this. Um, and then I have a couple of rulers. You don't have to have both of them. Uh, I recommend to have one metal ruler because a cutter can cut through a plastic or a wood ruler. And if uh, uh, you have access to a ruler with uh, protection, like it has a side that is a bit taller to protect your hands, your fingers, it's even better. So a ruler, I love the, this length, it's like uh, 60 centimeters. And then I have a uh, carpenter's uh, um, a square. It helps me to, to keep my edges uh, 90, 90 degrees. So I, I have both of them. You don't, it's not a must to have both of them. You can get the 90 degrees with anything that is square. So this is the three pieces of, of equipment that I need for my projects. Now usually my projects I do with a glue gun. So you need the glue gun, but it's not a must. And today I'm going to show, I'm putting it aside and I'm going to show you how to do everything with uh, uh, white, uh, white, uh, white glue, PVA glue. I'm using good quality PVA glue. If you see, it's very thick. It's like Elmer's glue. It's like carpenter's glue, but you can also get good results with the simplest glue you want. Now the thing with cardboard is that everything, every material that works on anything else, will work on, on cardboard, all the glues will stick, it will, will make the cardboard stick, and uh, you can use anything you have, anything that you have available. You can use any um, liquid glue that you have, transparent or otherwise. You can even, even use uh, double-sided uh, tape, which I don't like, but it's possible. Uh, so anything will work on cardboard. So we have the cutter, the rulers, uh, the glue, the white glue, or the, the glue gun, and obviously if you use the glue gun, you will need uh, the glue for the glue gun, which we're not going to use today. And then uh, I'm using plain masking tape. The, plastic, the masking tape is like uh, an accessory. It helps me do the work. It never stays on my cardboard projects. Now, I've seen a lot of tutorials that are using uh, masking tape and are leaving it on it. It's something I do not recommend because the masking tape is a temporary kind of uh, material. After a while, the glue inside will dissolve and it will um, fall apart. So whatever you do, don't leave the masking tape inside your project. Um, I'm using a wallpaper paste. This is for finishing. If I'm used, the, uh, the, this I need for the finishing. If I'm finishing with uh, decorative papers, etc., or even for the finishing, the basic finishing of the brown paper. Um, also, not a must. You can instead of this, you can use this 
you can use the white glue diluted with water, it will have the same effect. With the uh, wallpaper paste, it's easier and it also sticks better. Wallpaper paste is the, the best glue to uh, stick uh, paper together. So wallpaper paste, and this maybe uh, you are familiar with, maybe not, in some countries they are not available as easily. Uh, this is the gummed craft, so it's brown paper that has already glue on it, and the glue is dry. Now to activate the glue, you have to uh, um, uh, so not soak it, but like, but rather um, wet it a bit with water. And for that matter, I'm using um, uh, a sponge. I use a sponge with some water on it, and then I'll show you how to use it. So I usually have two types of gum craft to wit. Uh, either one will do, you don't have to have both. And, um, and then some sanding paper. Now the sanding paper, if you see, is, not, is like uh, quite rough. So I use the roughest I can get. And then I also usually have some finer uh, sanding paper for fine finishings. But for the base, this is what I'm uh, looking for. Again, it's not a must. You can do it even with, uh, um, even if you have a rough wall, even with a uh, nail uh, thingy and um, whatever. So um, what we're going to do today is a box. It's a very, very, very basic uh, tutorial. I'm going to talk a lot about how to do it and how to cut and how to use the tools. And um, then we will also talk about it while doing it. So it's a box. This box, as you see, is the box that I'm, I, ha I haven't used it as a box. I have used it as a replacement for a canvas. I'm painting on it. I have lots of art projects that I'm doing on my uh, cardboard uh, art, re art, art base replacement. And the fun part of it is that it does not have to be square any longer. You can have it any shape you want. And with the time I'll show you how to make them any shape you want. I'm not talking about round. I'm talking about fantastic shapes that um, you can uh, do your art and it, it's not necessarily square. So this is what we're going to do. Today I'm going to work on a box that will be the box to hold my napkins. It will be a napkin holder. So the first thing you do when you want a project, you plan it. In order to plan it, you start by um, measuring or deciding the size of what is it, whatever it is that you want to make. So my napkins are like 17 by 17. I'm going to make a box that will also fit larger napkins. So I'm going to do the box that the inside of it will be, say, 19 by 19. So I'm starting with the base. Now, the cardboard I'm using, if you haven't watched yet, I recommend you watch my video where I'm explaining all types of cardboard. I'm using always the two plies, okay? I can get it easily. Maybe you can't get it easily, so for this type of projects, like the decorative projects, the ones that do not carry weight, you can use fine, nice looking, good looking cardboard that has only one ply. You have to um, pinch it to see that it's not too soft. That it won't uh, work because it's you know it's a pity to put so much uh, effort and then the cardboard doesn't hold. So just make sure that it's a nice cardboard. If you don't get nice cardboard and it it, it seems to you um, uh, not strong enough, you can uh, uh, glue two parts together just using any kind of. of a uh, liquid glue okay so if if say it was uh, just one ply and i wanted it to be stronger so this is what i would do and then i would put it to, away to dry with some uh, weight on it to keep it together that's it because uh, and then i will come back and work on it but this time i don't need it because i have the right um, cardboard so let's put this aside Let's put the napkins aside once we know the size. And also what you can see on this, ah, okay, I, I want to show you that I have lots and lots of boxes that I made myself. And I make them any shape I want or I need. And surprisingly enough, these boxes have been lasting for uh, very many years. You can see they're not very nice. Maybe I need to finish them off. Again, I didn't even varnish them. If I would varnish them, they would probably uh, keep better uh, 
better look. So um, you can do any shape of box, and with time I will show you many types of boxes, among other things. So uh, I'm using uh, the cardboard. You see, it's a cardboard that I found on the street. I'm trying to make sure that the cardboard is also good looking on the outside. As I mentioned in the video that, where I talk about the cardboard, the cardboard has two sides. The side that has the print on it will usually be stronger. It will probably have a thicker paper on the outside, which this time it doesn't. And then also you see that the plies are different uh, width. The one with the small width is probably towards the outside. Now on the inside, I don't know if you can see it on the video, on the inside if you uh, look at it like uh, in different angles of the light, you will see that you can see the lines of the cardboard. This is the less strong part of the cardboard. So this I would usually uh, use on the inside. And also it depends, you know, what the project is about. Like in the case of the um, art thing, okay? So I put the strong part, the nice part, the nice looking part. I, I used it on the outside because I wanted it to be, um, you know, straight and not to have the, the texture of the cardboard. But other times, like this time, where I'm, I'm doing the box and the inside will see, will, I'm, I will use this part on the outside. So I'm preparing it. You see, the side of it that is not very nice looking. So first of all, I'm, cut, I'm cutting off the side. I will only use a very nice looking uh, cardboard. And I all, already prepared my uh, cutting knife. So this is the way to do it. You want to do it smoothly and easily. You don't want to um, use a lot of force. You can go back a couple of times. And, um, and cut it. So now you can see the side is nice and it doesn't look like this. So this is to throw away. And I do recommend to have um, you know, a bin, a, a, a garbage bin next to you because there's going to be quite a bit of leftovers. Now here, I would have used it, but you see there's a, like, a, like a dent, so I will remove it. Again, the same way. I'm cutting parallel to this line. I didn't even measure it, I drew it by the eye, but if you're not sure about, about whether it is uh, straight or not, you can uh, measure the distance from the edge. Okay, and now I'm measuring. We said 19 by 19, right? So, let's mark the 19. Okay, I'm using a marker, which I usually don't because it's very thick, but I want you to see what I'm doing, so I'll use this one. Okay, so it's 19. And 19 here again. And I'm doing it, you know, just by the end. But you can uh, use this the square. The square will tell you if the line is uh, in the accurate place. Okay, so it's 19 here and 19 there. You can see this side. Okay, so it's 19 here, 19 here. So, this is the base of the inside of our box. Okay, I never, never rip it. So if, it, if I can cut it properly the first time, I will cut it again. So there it comes out. Very uh, nicely cut. Okay, so here it is. And now I need the sides. So, you know, I have to decide how tall I want the sides to be. So let's say I measured the uh, width of the entire, uh, so the entire pack of uh, napkins width here will be three centimeters, so I'll do it four centimeters. Okay, so what I need now is sides. Um, okay, so we'll do it this way. I don't, I don't like this, you know, this crisp here, so I'm going to try and work around it. But if I have to, I'll use it. 
Okay, so what I need now is the sides, the edges. Um, and the edges, I need to be a little bit longer than, than uh, the base itself, and I'll explain in a minute how longer and why. So I will continue this line for another, say, five centimeters. So this way I will definitely have it long enough. And then we said every four centimeters, so I have exactly enough cardboard here for four lines, which is exactly what I need. So I mark every four centimeters. And 16 and then say here we went for 24 so I will go for 24 here as well This I can put aside. And I'm preparing the sides. Now guys, you can feel free and correct my English if it's not the right term. So um, I would appreciate it if you don't if you told me what is the right term. Okay, now the thing is, cardboard is a very uh, easy material to work with because even if you don't make it, uh, uh, you don't cut it very, very uh, accurate, you can always send it and shift it and so it's always okay. So don't worry about being very, very accurate. You, um, I recommend you try, but if it doesn't work, that's okay too. So now all we're going to do is just put those sides here together okay this way now the trick is about the corner there are more than one ways to do the corner i'm going to do it this time very easy so i'll have two sides that are exactly the width of the cardboard and the best way to mark it is just put the cardboard the cardboard this the base on the strip and mark it so i'll have two of those and the other two will be longer. Now I suppose you can get why it needs to be longer, but if you don't, I'll explain in a second. So, okay, so. These are going to go here, okay? You see, they are exactly the size. Now, the other two have to be longer because they have to come over and hold the first side. So, it has to be the size, this size plus the width of the, these two. So, also, the easiest way is to mark it directly on the cardboard, but you can measure it and do it that way as well. So, see, this is what I need for the easiest way of doing it. It's not the best way, it's the easiest, so this time we're going to do it the easiest. Now, if you have a glue gun, I recommend you do it with a glue gun because the glue gun will have your project finished in seconds. 
you don't have a glue gun, you will need to use both both um, white glue, PVA glue, and masking tape, which is what we're going to do now. So as I said, this time I'm going to use the nice side, the stronger side, and the, the smoother side. You see, this side is smoother, and this side shows, and if you and, uh, walk with your fingers across, you will feel the lines. These are the lines of the cardboard, the flutes, okay? So I'm going to use uh, the smoother side on the inside of the, book, of the box because this is what people will see. This is, this is going to be sitting on the table like this. The napkins are going to be on top of it, but it doesn't really matter in this case. So um, we start uh, putting them together. Now in order for them to stay, I will need the masking tape. Oh, I have a nicer one. Where is the new one next one? Okay, now you can prepare some bits of masking tape in advance so that you don't have to go looking for it. So this is what I do. Now, if you have access to uh, weak tape, um, you better use weak tape because as you remember, we're going to remove it. It's, going to, it's only going to stay there whilst it's drying. So, if it's a very strong tape, it might tear the cardboard. And if you don't have access, access to, um, to weak tape, what you can do is this. Now you put it and remove it a couple of times so it weakens it. And in any case, when you remove it, you want to remove it very, very uh, slowly. So, here we go. You can use anything to... Uh, if you don't like you doing it with your fingers like myself, you can use anything, even Q-tips or a knife or even a bit of cardboard like this. Maybe this is the best way for you guys to do it. Now you want to see the the glue on it because if you don't if you don't put enough glue on it, the glue, and especially if it's very liquid. It will go inside the flutes and it will not be effective. Okay, so, no, I didn't put it the right way. Okay, so this is not the glue. <laughs> no, this is not what we need this time because it's going this way. So it's not what we need. We need the glue here. This is where you need it. And this one goes here. Now, I do try as much as possible to make it stay exactly where it's supposed to be so that I don't have to send it. So, with my fingers, I feel where it is and I try to make it stay where, where it needs to be. If it sticks out like this, it's not a problem. You can always fix it. Okay? So, in order for it to stay, I'm using the masking tape because the white glue itself is not enough to hold it even though this is very thick and if you put little enough glue very very thin layer it stays you see it's not moving it's actually sort of sticking although it's not dry yet so this does the job but you see it's not very stable I can't count on it now, I must say, it's more difficult to do it with, 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 with uh, PVA glue or any liquid glue because of the instability. If we would have done it with a hot glue gun, it would have stayed on the spot in a minute. No, again, I'm doing the wrong thing. Okay, let's do it this way. Now you may want to do the one next to the first one first. You see here it's standing nicely. It will not always stand nicely. It's standing nicely because my, my glue is thick. And um, didn't offer too much resistance. 
So with my finger, I'm making sure that it is exactly on the corner. Remember, it was supposed to be at least exactly the same width. Okay, so one, two, three. And now, now I'm going to put glue all around. And the next two parts are larger, so they can hold all sides. Now, sometimes when you put the first side, it will you know, not stay exactly in the in the right angle. So when you put add the, the third the, the third or the last part, you can see that is the if it is that it is the right angle by just shifting it this way. So like this one is like this. So you take it out, and then it will be the right uh, in the right position. Okay, so let's go very, very delicately. Now, as you see, this is the other side of the cardboard. It's less friendly for this purpose. And here, fed off. But once I'll add the third side, they won't budge. Okay, so how am I doing? How is my English? I need some uh, some reaction, guys. If you if my English is okay, if you understand what I'm saying, if it's good enough, just give me the thumbs up or say something about my English. I know my accent is far from perfect. I like the comment about my accent being similar to God's good dot. I wish I would I should be so lucky, but uh, obviously it is because of my neighbors. Okay, so you see we're almost finished. Now because it's not dry yet, what happened now, it moved. So, you know, I pay attention to see that before I leave it to dry, it's located exactly where it's supposed to be. And this is it. What, what we have is, uh, now I didn't mean you. I wanted your friend, but I will use yeah okay so here now you can try and use it with a dispenser like the you know get or a bottle okay now as you see here the resistance is making it pull away so when i put the last part i'll make sure that it's on the spot okay so this is the last part i'll add the Okay, so here it is. And the corner. And that's it. It's ready to dry. Okay, I'll just add just for, you know, to be on the safe side. I've added this. And remember, we're going to remove all masking tape after. Now, since it has to dry, we're gonna do the finishing right now. Now, on the inside, um, if it is a PVA glue, it's not a big deal. If it's a, a hot glue, it tends to, uh, you know, leave chunks or bubbles when they dry. They so I remove whatever doesn't have to be here, and that's it. Here is 
my uh, thingy ready for finishing. So next time we're going to do the finishing. We have to leave it to dry. So unfortunately we cannot do it now. And myself, I'm going to do another box because I'm going to need a box for my painting. So you can watch the next one too. So you know the drill. If you like the video and want to see more, give me the thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. Everything you see here in the pictures are furniture made of cardboard. They're all made by myself or by my students. I suppose you're here because you too want to make some of those someday. So keep following and maybe you will.